mean, it's, it's, it's definitely strong enough to, to hold a man, right? If you want it to. So whenever there's a really bad storm, I might get on this and, and do this sort of thing just to give it a bit of a stress test. Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and this video isn't on gardening, it's on this swing set. And uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because when I was thinking about building it, when I was mulling over this design in my head, <clears throat> I went online and looked around like on YouTube and that sort of thing to see if I could find uh, other people that had done the same thing and there really wasn't much out there. So uh, I decided to make a video about it. <laughs> so I, I got uh, kids, uh, they're age 9 and 11, uh, so they're getting a little bit old for the swing, but they still like swinging. <laughs> so <laughs> I, uh, uh, my wife was uh, on my case for years to build like a proper swing set. And I was like, geez, you know, like we're going to spend all this money on a swing set. And uh, then they're going to grow out of it and we'll have to throw the thing away. So I was reluctant. So I, I had a couple trees that had like branches coming off of them. And I had like that sort of thing. But they, we had a hurricane last fall and all that stuff blew down. Um, and there was actually a couple trees in with these. Th those blew down. <laughs> And uh, by virtue of those trees blowing down, I basically noticed that I had two really solid, um, uh, you know, posts <laughs> to which I could attach uh, a cross member. So uh, I'm going to just get behind the camera here and, and zoom in a bit on different spots and explain how I made this. I, I don't know if this is, uh, you know, CSA approved or something like that, but, um, you know, the trees aren't going to fall down and uh, it's attached really well. So, and, and you know, every time there's a really, really big windstorm, I sort of check everything and I get on it and see if I could hold my weight. I'm about 215 pounds, 210, depending on the week, sometimes lower, sometimes higher. <laughs> so, if I can hold it, my kids are more like 60, 70 pounds. Uh, so, I'll get on it and give it a really good stress test every time there's, uh, you know, an, an event that might uh, uh, minimize its integrity. But uh, let's have a look at this thing and uh, I'll show you how I did it. It was really cheap and really easy and really fast. I mean, it probably took two hours to make a fully functioning swing set so uh, yeah here we go so uh, I went to um, an Army Navy store and bought some really good uh, rope that I can't remember what the breaking strength was on this rope but it was way well 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 beyond uh, you know it's, it's like almost like mountaineering rope I guess so the rope is the most expensive part of this I think the rope I used for this cost about 20 bucks or so uh, I wouldn't use that dollar store rope. I'd, I'd go somewhere that sells good rope. Uh, I went to an Army Navy store. And uh, I got a, uh, I think this is a 2x10, uh, pressure treated lumber, 2x10. And I got some, some of those uh, you know, bolts that have uh, you know, a nut on one end and they're threaded, they're galvanized. And also just some uh, common nails to get things in place. And uh, what I did was I uh, up in the top corner here, I went up here with a ladder, and I, uh, I, I, I stuck a nail on either side. So I stuck a nail on this side, and leaned the board up there. Just, and it was just resting on top of the nail, just to hold it, right? I mean, if you got two people, that's great, but... And then I went over to the other side, and went up the ladder, holding... I mean, this is all dangerous stuff, but not that high, I guess. The thing's probably uh, 10 feet high, 12 feet high, okay? So I walked up the ladder holding that board with a couple nails in my mouth and a hammer in the other hand. And when I got up there, uh, I, put, I, I tacked a nail into the tree and rested the board on it and just eyeballed it like, you know, is it close to level? And then I got another nail ready and I drove it into the um, 2x10. And I had a level with me and I just adjusted it till it was properly level. And I drove that nail underneath it. So now I have a perfect, a perfectly level board suspended between two trees. Then I took a third uh, nail, like a four inch common nail, and drove it through the board. Then I went down into the other side and drove another four inch common nail through the board. So now I have a level board attached. Then I got uh, a drill and I drilled holes through the, through the board and attached my carriage bolts. I think they were six inch galvanized carriage. I, I don't know if that's the right term, but basically, uh, let me zoom in a bit here so you can see. So, you know, it's that sort of, with a washer. So it's that sort of bolt with a washer. And you need a really good uh, socket wrench 
or an impact driver or something to get those in there because the, the deeper they get in this is a live tree so the deeper they get into the tree the, the harder they are to turn so I had a pretty long uh, uh, socket wrench the sort of thing you'd use for uh, you know putting the tires on a car <laughs> and that sort of thing and I just and it took, took a little while um, and I had to take a couple breaks to tell you the truth because uh, working off a ladder isn't the best and I'm you know maybe not in the best of shape but uh, yeah drove those in right so each of these boards has got uh, a common nail in and those in and I can't tell I mean these are big trees look up the tree let's zoom back out you look up the tree these are huge spruce trees okay and they do a sway a bit in the wind but you notice they don't have like huge branches they don't have a, an enormous uh, sail like uh, quality to the branches um, and we have a lot of heavy winds and a lot of you know storms and, and even hurricanes here not a lot of hurricanes but we do get them we do get the hurricane force winds I guess 100 kilometer an hour type winds and, and above um, these trees I mean every year we have uh, trees fall down so if you look over here uh, there, there's a tree that fell down just a few weeks ago just a few weeks ago we had a, a sort of a ice snow storm type thing ice and snow and a lot of wind and I had about four trees come down just just from that that sort of thing happens all the time I'm always having trees come down but these two trees have never um, been uh, affected by those heavy winds neither has this one so I made a judgment call and said okay I guess that spot is uh, reasonably uh, safe right and again uh, whenever there's a really big storm I come out and have a look and, and just check everything out and stand on one of the swings and see so uh, design what did I do well I just uh, used a, I think I used a jam knot to tie the strings to the top just I tied them I didn't drill anything through it I just tied them right around it like that and sort of tighten them in place uh, did, did a sort of double loop and then what they call a jam knot uh, I'll put a link to knot videos at the end of this video uh, jam knots are really easy not to use I think they call it the Canadian jam knot um, <coughs> and then I had this just this sort of rope left over that I added in the middle uh, and braided in some stuff with it I thought maybe the kids would uh, you know climb this rope and get uh, you know really fit climbing the rope uh, what they usually do with the rope is they each sit on a swing and they throw it at each other <laughs> so, anyway it just added an interesting feature there's lots of different things you could do of course right um, for the uh, for the swings all I got is uh, I uh, I took a a piece of uh, you know just a, a cross section of a tree <laughs> right I, I cut it out and I just split it in, in half with an axe and then I just just a rough or actually I might have cut this in half with a chainsaw it looks like actually this was cut in half with a chainsaw so I just ripped it right down the middle with a chainsaw and then cut the cut these pieces out so it's just relatively flat and I just drilled holes through it through either side put the rope through and tied a knot and then I, I tested it a number of times until you know it was a reasonably uh, level but I mean it's, it's it's definitely strong enough to to hold a man right <laughs> if you want it to so whenever there's a really bad storm I might get on this and and do this sort of thing just to give it a bit of a stress test and I'm sure this uh, I, I'm sure the rope won't, won't last forever be, you know a lot of people use chains for a swing and that's probably you know if you want to take it up another level of, of safety and security that's that's a good move uh, but I was going for I mean my kids are of an age where I would imagine in a number of years they're not going to be interested in this right the rope will not last as long as chains because it's it's susceptible to the weather um, but you know you just keep an eye on it and, and test it and you know uh, if it starts getting worn and, and looking like it's losing its uh, uh, integrity you have to replace the rope uh, I really don't know how how long making a swing with ropes like this would last in terms of the rope um, it really would depend on the kind of rope you get and how resistant it is to uh, UV and that sort of thing but uh, that's it you know I think so around probably $30 all in 
to build a very good, very strong, uh, to me, um, safe uh, swing set. Uh, the kids enjoy it, and uh, it's part of their sort of <laughs> routine when they come out here. And, uh, and that way you're not stuck with some old swing set that you have to throw away or that just stays in your lawn unused for years after your kids are done with it. If you happen to have two strong, you know, really solid trees that are the right distance apart, you know, all those things have to be, um, you know, all those things have to fall into place for you for the thing to work. Um, but just another option if, uh, if you're in that situation, uh, you know, make sure it's safe. Do, I don't want anyone suing me if, if there's collapses, right? But, uh, <laughs> you know, do what you feel you have to do to ensure that it is safe enough for your kids to use. Uh, use really strong top quality rope and get a really good beam across the top and secure it really well. Just nails, probably not uh, safe over the long run. Uh, you got to have something with a thread in there to hold it in. You know, maybe even ideally you've got a bolt that goes all the way through, but I, I thought if I had a, a sort of, uh, I guess it's like a giant screw with a nut on the end. <laughs> That's not coming out, <laughs> right? So, uh, and the only danger for this wing set is the trees really swaying and, and working, working all that loose. But I mean, we've been through, since I've built this, we've been through some serious wind and storms that have brought down a lot of trees, ripped a lot of shingles off my roof. And this thing's as tight as the day I made it. So for now, it's good anyway. So I hope you found that interesting. If you, if you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com. And until next time, get out there, get at it. Have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.